So over the past year that I've been growing my hair out, there have been several things which has made the whole process a lot easier and I feel like I can't go without them. In this video, we're gonna discuss what those things are and how they can benefit you when growing out your hair. As always, if you enjoy or find this video helpful in any way, a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. It also lets me know you guys like seeing these types of videos. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with the weekly hair content. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it. So if you're currently not using any type of hair oil whatsoever, you might find significant benefit in implementing one into your hair routine. Depending when you're watching this video, my advice would be to just visit your local drugstore and pick up whatever affordable hair oil they have. Given the current circumstance, I'll be sure to link some of my favorite affordable hair oils down in the description. Starting off with those more affordable hair oils allows you to branch into the more expensive ones because you kind of understand how they work and what best suits your hair. Generally speaking, hair oils are best suited to Towards those who have dry hair. However, everyone can benefit from using a hair oil. If your hair isn't typically dry or if you have a finer hair type, my advice is to apply small amounts of hair oil to the ends of your hair. Applying a bunch of hair oil to the roots of your hair can weigh it down and as a result you get that kind of greasy unwashed look which isn't what we're going for unless unless you're planning to do a hair oil mask. Maybe once a week I'll apply a hair oil mask just before I shampoo. It's super simple, you just apply a bunch of hair oil from the roots to the ends. But fundamentally implementing a hair oil into your routine in some way or another will allow your hair to grow, fill and look healthier. If you've watched my recent vlog style videos, you'll know I'm a huge advocate for a healthy, non-restrictive and balanced diet, which is important to mention here because I don't feel like supplementation is a substitute for a good diet. Optimal hair growth happens in a diet with an abundance of B vitamins found in fruits, greens, seeds and various other whole foods. It's worth mentioning that biotin actually has very little evidence proving that it promotes hair growth in those who aren't biotin deficient. Biotin deficiencies aren't very common so taking a biotin supplement isn't necessarily going to promote hair growth but it will ensure everything stays in check in regards to your hair's health. However, let this point in the video be more of an indicator towards a good balanced diet as opposed to supplementation. Next up is hair accessories and this is probably my favorite point in this video. Having an arsenal of accessories when growing your hair out will only better your chances in actually growing your hair out and committing to it. But even if you're not growing your hair out by choice and it's just a case of the barbers being shut in the meantime, hair accessories can be a really effective way of just going about your day and not needing to worry about how your hair looks. So for example, when my hair was shorter, I used to just hold my hair back with some sunglasses. As it got slightly longer, I then upgraded to a hairband. These days, sometimes I tie my hair kind of like in a man bun style. Hats are another example and I've even showed how you could use things like bobby pins to pin your hair back during those awkward stages. Unless you're super motivated to actually grow out your hair, you want to be putting in as little effort as possible because the more effort you put in, the more likely you are to find shorter hair appealing that requires less maintenance. The last thing on this list is a styling cream. As your hair gets longer, traditional hair styling products such as waxes or clays will begin feeling less effective. And so it is highly advisable that you transition into finding some sort of styling cream or product that works best for you. My favorites are ones that are thick in the hair and provide some density. A Send Volume Cream is a great example of that. A Vader's Thickening Tonic can easily be applied with a hair mousse or a leave-in conditioner to kind of give you the same effect. But regardless of what hair product you transition into, you just want it to be one in which can assist you in giving you more control when styling your hair, taming that frizz and those flyaways, and overall just making your hair look a lot more presentable. And again, as always, my favorites will be linked in the description. But that brings this video to an end. Hopefully you guys did enjoy Enjoy. Again, a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. Also, be sure to check me out on Instagram. I've started reintroducing these like mini Instagram vlog stories. I used to make them several years ago, but I'm gradually getting back into them. Um, and I love hearing your guys' feedback on those. But until then, I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.